Hey everyone, welcome back to the episode of CS Lurfs and Mystery Mondays. So excited, look what came in the mail today. Today we're gonna be trying Samyang Bulldog Rose flavor. All right, Samyang, we're doing it again. We have another flavor that isn't available in the North American market. I got this straight from Korea, so um, I'm looking forward to see how this differs from the cream carbo as well as the carbo ones too, because those are kind of similar, but with the rosé sauce, it's usually a tomato sauce with a bit of cream added to it. So I'm looking forward to see those kind of elements coming through, and I am so excited to dig in. So enough of me talking, let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, we've got our noodle block here. We have our signature bulldog sauce and our dry powder sachet. We're gonna bring 600 milliliters of water to a boil, let that cook for five minutes, and then drain, leaving two tablespoons of water, adding in your bulldog sauce, as well as our dry, creamy powder here, and mix, and this is what happens when your phone falls down when you're filming, <laughs> but mix till it's well incorporated. Here we go, a nice light color. I'm sure it's nice and spicy, let's enjoy. All right, so this is the finished product. Let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, rosé all day, Sam Young. This one here is a level four spicy. And I can't remember, I don't, rem I don't like have it all memorized, but I feel like this one is less spicy than the Carbo and also the cream Carbo one. It's very, very cream heavy, I would say. You got that hint of the Bulldog sauce, which is a signature. Um, again, it's a hint of sweetness that they do add a bit of, quite a bit of sugar in these sauces. And then it comes with that nice powder powdered cream which kind of melts it all out. Um, the noodles here are noticeably thicker and they're perfect for coating that with wonderful creamy sauce. Quite tasty. Again, very much on the mild side. Um, I would have liked to see a bit more of the large parsley flakes just kind of balance out the creaminess to kind of cut it. I feel like it needs a bit of brightness added to it or maybe some acidity. Um, tomato and the pepper sauce is definitely more of a secondary or like takes like a, a back seat in this one and that reflects in the spice level. Very, very delicious, creamy. If you like it, if you already were adding cream to your Samyang, you will definitely enjoy this one. This one does have a longer cooking time just because the noodles are slightly larger. It also takes quite a bit more water. This is 600 milliliters and five minutes and a half of cooking time. Um, I personally feel like the 30 seconds um, made it a bit too soft for me. So if you're making this again, I'd probably go easy. Um, personally, I like my noodles al dente, but that's just me. Um, how does this compare to the other ones? Again, if you cannot handle the heat, this one's definitely for you, definitely on the mild side. A little bit of burn on the lips, a little bit on the tongue, but not so much. Um, but very, very tasty overall. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a four out of five. Um, I love the spice. I just feel like there's a lot of cream in here, but who doesn't love a little cream? And I love the thickness of the noodles, super nice and chewy and bouncy. And of course, that signature for that sauce. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe in the link down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell just at the top right hand corner so you don't miss any new videos that are coming out. We'll see you for next week. Bye.